I will see some question of sequence of function which had come in different type of competitive exam. First example which had come in CSRNet 2022 exam and the example is actually use of Denis theorem and MN test. At first I will see the first example. First example fnx equal to n times 1 minus x to the power 1 over n. Is this sequence of function is uniformly convergent on the close interval 3 over 2 comma 2? Second example fnx equal to nx over 1 plus n squared x squared which is not uniformly con uh, convergent on the interval. 1 over 2020 comma infinity. Option 3. Fnx equal to n squared x squared over 1 plus n cube xl cube. We have to check. Is this sequence of function is uniformly continuous on the interval 1 over 2022 comma infinity? And option for none of this. Uh, check at first on self. Try to on self. Notice the first course, first option. Here, is this sequence is uniformly convergent on this close interval? Here, I will use Denis theorem. Because, as a review, just recall the Denis theorem. Recall at first statement of Denis theorem. Statement of Denis theorem is, if the given set is compact and Fn converges f to point wise where if this fn is monotone either it can be monotone increasing or it can be decreasing and fn converges to a point wise obviously this f would be continuous this could three condition be satisfied then we can tell this sequence of function fn converges to f uniformly have you understood this process? Okay. The given set is compact. Next, I will see. Is this function is monotone function? Here x greater than 1. Then, obviously n plus 1 would be greater than n. Then 1 over n plus 1 would be less than 1 over n. Uh, that means, x to the power 1 over n plus 1 would be less than x to the power 1 over n. So, minus x to the power 1 over n plus 1 would be greater than x to the power 1 over n. Okay. Minus x to the power n. Here the uh, sequence of function is 1 minus n times 1 minus x to the power 1 over n. Therefore, uh, uh, just 1 minus x to the power uh, 1 over n plus 1 would be greater than 1 minus x to the power 1 over n. Now, since n plus 1 greater than n, so multiply both sides by n plus 1, then this would be n plus 1 times 1 minus x to the power 1 over n plus 1, which is greater than n plus 1 times 1 minus x to the power 1 over n. Okay, since n plus 1 greater than n, so obviously this can be we can write n times 1 over uh, sorry 1 minus x to the power 1 over n. Okay, that means n plus 1 times 1 minus x to the power 1 over n plus 1 strictly greater than n times 1 uh, times 1 minus x to the power 1 over n. That means Obviously, here the sequence of function is given fnx equal to n times 1 minus x to the power 1 over n. So, obviously this is f of n plus 1x and this is f of nx. So, obviously f of n plus 1x greater than f of x and this is true for all x. So, fn b obviously monotone increasing sequence. Have you understood? That means two condition of Denis theorem has
blue. One, the set is compact. Second, the sequence of function is monotone function. Next, we have to prove the sequence of function fn converges to f pointwise. Obviously, this f would be continuous. Now, we have to find the limit. Find the limit. Since fn equal to n times 1 minus x to the power 1 over n. Just uh, rewrite the sequence as 1 minus x to the power 1 over n over 1 over n. Then limit n tends to infinity fn equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 minus x to the power 1 over n over 1 over n. And this is actually infinity over infinity. No, 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 no. This is uh, the limit is 0 over 0, 0 by 0. So, apply L hospital rule, then this would be limit n tends to infinity minus x to the power 1 over n times log x times minus 1 over n square over here also minus 1 over n square just omit this part then this would be limit n tends to infinity x to the power minus x to the power 1 over n log x okay and this value apply the limit then this would be limit n tends to infinity x to the power 1 over n this would be 1 then this would be this value would be after putting the limit this value would be log of minus log of x which is actually equal to 1 over log x and on the domain 3 over 2 comma 2 obviously this function fx means 1 over log x always be continuous so all condition of Dini's theorem has satisfied here uh, fn is monotone increasing sequence and the limit is continuous and the domain is compact so by Dini's theorem we can tell this sequence of function is uniformly convergent on the domain close 3 over 2 comma 2 second fn x equal to n x over 1 plus n square x square uh, here the question given uh, this is not uniformly continuous on the interval 1 over 2 to the power 2020 comma infinity. Notice here fn x equal to n x over 1 plus n square x square where x lies between 1 over 2020 comma infinity. Uh, at first we have to find the limit n tends to infinity fn x. Obviously this is equal to nx over here yeah, just uh, divide this part n square x square then this would be 1 over n square x square plus 1 then this is 1 over nx the limit obviously this tends to 0 uh, after putting the limit that means fnx converges pointwise to the function fx equal to 0 okay now we have to check is this convergence is uniform convergence? For this, absolute value of fnx minus fx. Here I will use the mn test. Here fnx means nx over 1 plus n square x square. So, supremum x belongs to. Here the domain is 1 over 2022 comma infinity nx over 1 plus n square x square. That means we have to find supremum of this function nx over 1 plus n square x square. And here obviously nx uh, since 1 plus n square x square. Uh, that means this is obviously less than equal to n square x square and that means this is less than equal to 1 over n square x square sorry sorry 1 over 
nx. Okay? Means this is less than 1 over nx. Here we have to find the supremum. Since here x in the denominator, that means obviously the sequence, here the sequence is increasing sequence. So, obviously the supremum value exists in the open interval 1 over 2022. That means this value would be 2022 over n. And as limit n tends to infinity, obviously this value tends to 0. So, by MN test, we can tell this function is uniformly con continuous on this interval. That means this pointwise limit actually uniformly convergent. Okay? So, option 2 has indicate this is not uniformly convergent. So, option 2 is a wrong option. And option 3 imply this function is uniformly convergent on this domain. And this is, this proof is same as this proof. So, obviously this is, this would be uniformly convergent. And option 4 obviously wrong option because option 4 has indicated none of above. Option 4 obviously wrong option. That means option 1 and option 3 is the right option. I hope my all viewers have understood the use of Dini's theorem and MN test. Because this type of example I have defined more times. Okay. Our next example is now I will see same type of question which had come CSR net December 2018 exam. The question is consider the sequence of function and here fnx equal to 1 over 2nx plus 1 and gnx equal to x over 2nx plus 1 where x lies between open interval 0 1. We have to prove consider the statement the sequence fn converges uniformly on the open interval 0 1 uh, and second the sequence gn converges uniformly on the open interval 0 1 option 1 1 is true option 2 2 is false option 3 1 is false and 2 is true and option 4 both 1 and 2 is false true here, uh, uh, notice this question obviously similar to before. fnx equal to 2nx plus 1 and limit n tends to infinity. Obviously, value would be 1 over 2 here infinity plus 1. That means obviously this is infinity plus 1. That means obviously this plus tends, tends to 0. Uh, that means fnx tends to the function fx equal to 0. Okay. This, uh, fnx converges pointwise to the function fx equal to 0. Now we have to find is this convergence is uniform convergence. For this I will similar uh, to before I will use here mn test fx supremum here x belongs to open interval 0 1. Obviously, this value would be supremum x belongs to open interval 0, 1, 1 over 2nx plus 1. Since here x belongs to open interval 0, 1, so obviously this x goes to 0. That means here the mn actually would be tends to 1. Okay. That means this supremum value tends to 1. So, uh, obviously this sequence of function when x belongs to open interval 0, 1 not uniform convergent. Our next sequence of function gnx equal to x over 2nx plus 1. 
Here x lies between open interval 0 1. Since gn x equal to x over 2n x plus 1, that means for all x obviously gn x tends to 0. This is true for all x. Now we have to prove is this convergence is uniform similar to before. Here I will use mn test. Supremum x belongs to open interval 0 1 gnx minus gx then this value would be supremum x belongs to open interval 0 1 here the gnx x over 2 nx plus 1 that means we have to find the supremum value supremum x belongs to open interval 0 1 here just uh, divide this numerator and denominator by x then this would be 1 over 2n plus 1 over x and notice here also this part is decreasing part so if we put the value x tends to 0 then obviously 1 over x as x tends to 0 this tends to infinity and whole value tends to infinity but this is the decreasing part so obviously the value would be just very small and small and small but if we apply x tends to 0 then this value would be large so obviously here always x goes to 1 obviously this value would be 1 over 2n plus 1 as n tends to infinity obviously this value tends to 0 so here I have got mn tends to 0 as n tends to infinity that means this convergence is uniform convergence okay have you understood okay that means only gn is converges uniformly on the interval open interval 0 1 and this is not uniform convergence so notice here option here uh, option 1 given 1 is true this is wrong here 2 given 2 is false this is also wrong option 3 given 1 is false and 2 is false true this is right option and option 4 given both 1 and 2 is true this is also wrong option okay have you understood this concept okay i will stop here in my next video i will discuss series of function this is also very interesting topic but if you have any queries in today's video then do comments in comments box okay see you soon stay safe and stay positive always and don't forget to do subscribe more my channel for more videos thank you so much